Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bruin Game Day Live, presented by UCLA Health. Win the road, go with Jay Blake. You show him, man. Have a day. Have a day. Every play counts today. Yeah. Play for your brother beside you, dog. When you say family, mean that what? No three family. If you set the pace, you win the race. Yeah. Right from the jump, guys. Right from the jump. We on three. One, two, three. Win. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Puts the football over that line. Touchdown, UCLA. Whoa. And the Bruins are not done yet. 25, 20, 15, 10. The over he is. The Bruins are on top. What a day for Demetric Felton. What's going on, Bruins fans? I'm Jess Rosales, and this is Bruin Game Day Live, presented by UCLA Health, and I will be your host for today's pregame. Now, following a trip to Eugene, Oregon, the Bruins were in quite the nail-biter against the Ducks. Now they are back home, and they are hosting the Arizona Wildcats. Now, in today's show, we will be talking about that game, and, of course, today's game a little bit later on with former UCLA quarterback Wayne Cook, but we are telling you guys that this is for you. This is a show for the fans. And so we are definitely going to have some giveaways throughout the show. So make sure that you guys are paying attention and looking forward to all of that. Do not miss out on any of it. But here's what we're going to do right at the top of the show. Why don't we give away some of those prizes that we are talking about now? We did ask some of the fans at home to send in some photos of their tailgate setup. And, of course, we check those on social media by using our hashtag GoBruins. We want to see what you guys are doing at home, how it is that you guys watch the game. And so we're giving away a $25 gift card to Jersey Mike's to one winner right now. And that winner on Twitter is at Bones Power. So Deborah Jane Power, thank you so much for joining and for watching our show and for participating and using that hashtag GoBruins. You are the winner today of that $25 gift card to Jersey Mike. So congratulations to you. And of course, Bruins fans, don't forget, continue using that hashtag. Continue showing us your tailgate setup because we do want to see how you guys are watching the game today and of course your photo might end up on our social feed here on game day live now without further ado i do want to introduce to you guys our co-host who's going to be joining us in just a second you know him as the former UCLA quarterback. It is Wayne Cook. He's also the current sideline reporter, and you can listen to him later on today on AM570. We've got him joining us on the show, and you know, the last time that we got to sit down and talk to each other, it was a little bit warmer. Today, it is uh, starting to cool down. As we know, it gets cooler here at the Rose Bowl Stadium, but before talking about Arizona's game, let's talk about that game against Oregon. What did you see? I mean, a close game for the Bruins. It was a close game. It was a great game. Yeah. I mean, this is an Oregon team that was picked by many to win the conference. I know that they lost yesterday, but this is still a really good Oregon team. And UCLA statistically was better. Yeah. I mean, they were. It was the four turnovers. UCLA's had a turnover issue this year, but I was very impressed. You're playing with your backup quarterback and Chase Griffin, mm -hmm. and it played that well. Demetric Felton was incredible. The offensive line was incredible. And this defense is for real this year. Yeah, and of course, you want to see those mistakes fixed before today's game. Are you optimistic about that? What do you think that they're doing to kind of fix that? I'm very optimistic. And, and you know, listen, fumbling, turnovers, interceptions, I mean, it's difficult. To, I don't know what to say. All these players know they're not supposed to do it. Of course. But they do it anyway. I mean, it just happens. It's part of the game. So just clean it up. Just work real hard. Know if you're a quarterback. I mean, Chase's two interceptions were one was a Hail Mary and one was on a fourth down play. So. I can live with those, but they do need to clean it up. But listen, this Arizona team, I think they're ripe for UCLA, the way they've been playing, to really put their best game of the year together. Yeah, and as far as the offense goes for tonight, where do you see those big opportunities coming for the Bruins? Well, I want to see more Demetric Felton. I mean, Felton has been so good this year. He's got a couple of big 100-yard games in a row. The offensive line is starting to mesh, and it'll be interesting to see 
how much they throw with Chase Griffin. I thought he looked really good last week, but I loved how much he got Kyle Phillips involved too. So I expect him to get more touches as well. Yeah, and one of the things you say, the offensive line is starting to mesh. What do you see from them that makes you say, okay, this is how it's supposed to be? So this is what's really cool. If you, if you focus on them, the other side is going backwards. I love it. If you're a defensive line and you're on skates and you're getting pushed back by the offensive yep. line, I think that's amazing. And not only that, but they're deep. They're rotating players at guard in. They're getting some guys, and they're really getting a great push. Yeah. So as far as the defense goes, we do like what we've been seeing from them lately. What are you hoping to see tonight on that side of the ball? More of the same, maybe add a few more turnovers. I love the Quantrez Knight scoop and score last week. I mean, yeah. those types <laughs> of plays are big. You want to be on the better end of the turnover margin. So getting one turnover is great. Getting a couple usually leads to a victory. It starts with the pressure, starting with guys like Oso Odigizua. When he can put pressure on a quarterback, it leads to bad throws and mistakes. And so I just think be aggressive and force the other team into screwing up. Yeah, and I know I like to ask you what the key to success is going to be, but instead of a key to success, what would you say is probably going to be the player to help this team out today? Well, I mean, I just named him. I, I, I think I, I love Demetric Felton, the way he's playing. Yep. I think for a, for a redshirt senior to be as big as he is, he catches the ball out of the backfield, too. He's such a huge weapon. Um, but I'll, I'll just make this easy. Let's not talk about skill, guys. Let's just go O and D line. Keep dominating in the trenches. If you do that, this team's got a ton of skill. I could bring up skill all day. We've got plenty of that. Win in the trenches, and they'll win this game. All right. And, of course, we always appreciate the time that you give us up here on Bruin Game Day Live. So let's throw this out there for the fans. We know that you're using that hashtag, Go Bruins, to show us those tailgates. But if you guys also have any questions for the next home game that we have, be sure to send those in using that hashtag, Go Bruins. So, of course, thank you, as always, for the time. And, of course, you can listen to Wayne Cook on AM570. Thank you. Go Bruins. That's right. <laughs> Here they come. The Bruins about to take the field. Demetrius Phil racing through. Touchdown UCLA. Don't let the comfort fool you. Don't let the attention to detail lead you to believe that a Honda is a delicate machine. <laughs> You'd be wrong. Underneath every surface that carries a Honda badge, there has always been the capacity to amaze. From the core of everything we have ever built, all the way to the top of where you want to go. Rise to the challenge with the rugged performance of the Honda Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. Our goal at Westcom is to make sure we look out for our members' best interest. I think it's great that you two have been saving for retirement. However, I am a bit concerned that you're highly leveraged in one specific industry. Are there any other areas that you might be interested in? <laughs> I understand that you two really like honey. However, there must be something else that you're interested in. We try to make sure we guide our members as best as we can. But at the end of the day, it really is their call. How about the financial sector or the tech sector? Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in celebrating today's UCLA student veteran of the game, Todd Bessinger. Todd joined the United States Army in 1992 as a second lieutenant. From there, Todd attended medical school at Tulane University, completing his degree in 1998. Todd then entered active duty and served as a member of the United States Army at Tripler Army Medical Center in Hawaii until his retirement from active duty in 2007. Todd is now a member of the Executive MBA program within the Anderson School of Business at UCLA. And now we'd like to introduce our season ticket spotlight for today's game. Brandon Rubaski has been a UCLA football season ticket holder since graduating from UCLA in 1995 
and has attended every UCLA-USC game since his freshman year in 1991. His favorite UCLA football memory is UCLA's thrilling comeback double overtime victory against the Trojans in 1996. Brandon admitted that he and his family were tempted to leave early that day, but that game taught him to always stick around until the clock hit zero. All right, Bruin fans, it is time for us to check in on our ready countdown to kickoff. And it looks like right now we are just about 54 minutes away from all of the action out there on the field. But don't worry, we still have plenty more right here on Bruin Game Day Live. But first, we are going to check in on the Bruins starting lineup for today's game. So, Dave, take it away. Announcing today's probable starting lineup, courtesy of Ready. On defense, defensive lineman, number 58, Daytona Jackson. Defensive lineman, number 92, Osa Odigizua. Outside linebacker, number 45, Mitchell Agude. Inside linebacker, number 40, Caleb Johnson. Inside linebacker, number 33, Bo Calvert. Outside linebacker, number zero, Damian Sellers. At cornerback, number one, Jay Shaw. At safety, number four, Stephen Blaylock. At safety, number 24, Quan Trez Knight. At safety, number 30, Elisha Guidry. And at cornerback, number 22, Obi Ebo. On offense, wide receiver, number 23, Chase Coda. Wide receiver, number two, Kyle Phillips. At left tackle, number 74, Sean Ryan. At left guard, Number 55, Paul Gratton. At center, number 64, Sam Morazzo. At right guard, number 62, Duke Clemens. At right tackle, number 70, Alec Anderson. At tight end, number 85, Greg Dulcich. At running back, Number 10, Demetric Felton. At wide receiver, number 18, Charles Najoku. And starting at quarterback, number 11, Chase Griffin. Visit the UCLA store on campus or go to shop.uclastore.com this Monday and save 5% on bearware for every UCLA touchdown scored today, up to 25%. UCLA is proud to thank the 8,513 members of the Wooden Athletic Fund, including the Eric Kazarian, Christine Zerifian family, today's Wooden Athletic Fund donors of the game, presented by Keys. Both Eric and Christine are proud Bruin alums and continue their UCLA tradition by bringing their children to UCLA games. Eric and Christine have been season ticket holders since 2007 and donors for nearly 20 years. To learn more, Visit WoodenAthleticFund.com. The Wooden Athletic Fund. Invest in tomorrow's champions today. And now let's take a look at our Bruins in the NFL, presented by Redbox. Alex Redman, offensive line, Cincinnati Bengals. Andre James, offensive line, Las Vegas Raiders. Brett Hundley, quarterback, Arizona Cardinals. Caleb Wilson, tight end, Philadelphia Eagles. Cassius Marsh, defensive end, Indianapolis Colts. Connor McDermott, 
Offensive line, New York Jets. Darnay Holmes, cornerback, New York Giants. Ely Enku, defensive tackle, Dallas Cowboys. Eric Kendricks, linebacker, Minnesota Vikings. Fabian Moreau, cornerback, Washington football team. Jacob Duyati Mariner, defensive tackle, Atlanta Falcons. Jayon Brown, linebacker, Tennessee Titans. Joshua Kelly, running back, Los Angeles Chargers. Kaimi Fairbear, kicker, Houston Texans. Kenny Clark, defensive line, Green Bay Packers. Kenny Young, linebacker, Los Angeles Rams. Colton Miller, offensive line, Las Vegas Raiders. Chris Barnes, linebacker, Green Bay Packers. Mercedes Lewis, tight end, Green Bay Packers. Matt Dickerson, defensive end, Tennessee Titans. Matthew Slater, wide receiver, New England Patriots. Miles Jack, linebacker, Jacksonville Jaguars. Scott Questenberry, offensive line, Los Angeles Chargers. Tack McKinley, defensive end, Las Vegas Raiders. All right, Bruins fans, now if you participated in our football trivia, this is the part that you want to pay attention because you could be going home with a brand new TV. That's right, we had a random winner that we selected that participated in our trivia to win a brand new TCL television for today, and that winner is Amy Cruz Shore. I tried to make it suspenseful, but I'm not very good at that. But either way, Amy, you are going home with a brand new TV from our friends over at TCL. Do me a favor and email the address that you see up on your screen right now so you can come by, pick up your TV. And if you are watching Bruin Game Day Live and you did not win today, do not worry. There are still many more opportunities for you to win some prizes. Continue using that hashtag GoBruins. And of course, you always have the opportunity to win a TV maybe on our next show. So either way, Amy, congratulations on the win and once again a big thank you to TCL for providing today's UCLA football trivia prize. Now every year UCLA Athletics is proud to present the UCLA Veteran of the Year Award to a veteran to honor their military career and of course their commitment to the community. Now this year we were fortunate enough to surprise our winner Lieutenant Colonel Jim Craig with the 2020 UCLA Veteran of the Year Award. Here's his story. Each year, UCLA Athletics honors one veteran for their distinguished military career and service to our local community with our Veteran of the Year Award. We're joined today by Lieutenant Colonel Jim Krog of the United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel Krog, we are thrilled to announce you have been selected as the UCLA's 2020 Veteran of the Year. Congratulations. Wow, uh, didn't expect, thank you very much. Very, very, very cool. Thank you very much. Appreciate appreciate everything. Appreciate everything UCLA has done for us, done for the veteran community, and uh, done for our ROTC graduates, uh, preparing them for uh, life leadership. It's been uh, an amazing opportunity coming back to Los Angeles and continuing to work with UCLA on veteran programs, on community programs, environmental programs. UCLA is an outstanding leader in the community, and it always been an amazing opportunity whenever I can work with them. And also appreciate the athletic programs. I think they teach amazing leadership opportunities and skill sets that, that our, our students uh, carry on into life that I really don't think they realize um, many until they get out into places like the military where at that point uh, it's, uh, it becomes evident that where we, what we learned and what we brought from that school. So thank you very much. This is very unexpected. Thank you. You stood out to the UCLA Veteran Affairs Committee because of your lengthy service. You know, along with your direct military service, you also made a great impact on the Los Angeles community upon your return. Your focus on rehabilitation efforts at the West LA VA Hospital particularly stood out to us. 
along with the phenomenal efforts during this year's pandemic to produce over 200,000 face coverings for first responders. So again, thank you for your service to our great country and to the veteran community as a whole. We owe you a great debt of gratitude. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Thank you. And of course, on behalf of Bruin Game Day Live, we just want to take this moment to thank Lieutenant Colonel Krog again for his service to our country. Right now, what we're going to do is we are going to check in on some scores from college football games around the country to see how the action is happening around there. Show your Bruin pride by getting the exclusive UCLA Alumni Association card. Go to bofa.com slash UCLA card for more details. Why did I choose to go to UCLA? First and foremost, when you say you've got a degree from UCLA, it, it carries some weight. I learned a standard of excellence. I knew that it would be the biggest challenge of my life. You know, it's something special, and it's known worldwide. In the same place where you can be with people that could be leading the world, you are also with people that could be professional athletes and Olympians. And so for me, uh, it was really, truly getting the best of both worlds. Just the opportunity to be able to walk around and say you're a Bruin, I think it goes a long way in this world. When I look back and I see the impact that it had on me and now going forward, the relationships that I've been so fortunate to uh, to cultivate and to have and establish because of my ties to UCLA uh, are, are endless and I'm forever grateful. You got an alumni base that will uh, take care of you and, and, and help you out for the rest of your life as, as connected throughout the world. The opportunity to come to UCLA is so special. All the people I've met, I've met the most amazing people that really are in my corner. I have never regretted at any point um, attending UCLA. Thanks again for joining us. You're watching Bruin Game Day Live, and we're waiting for the action. Of course, the Bruins hosting the Arizona Wildcats today. But let's talk about the UCLA Athletics Hall of Fame. Now, that's usually a ceremony that we hold out here on the field, but unfortunately, we have not been able to do that. But we still want to recognize the class of 2020. So before each home game, we're going to introduce you to some of the inductees for the year. So right now, let's take a look at three members for the UCLA Athletics Hall of Fame class of 2020. Adam Wright, men's water polo, 1997 to 2000. UCLA men's and women's water polo head coach Adam Wright is one of many former UCLA student athletes who've returned to Westwood in a coaching role. The three-time All-American and four-time All-MPSF selection led UCLA to back-to-back -to -back NCAA titles in 1999 and 2000. 
He continued his playing career beyond UCLA, competing with Team USA in the 2004, 2008, and 2013 Olympic Games. The 2019 USA Water Polo Hall of Fame inductee has won a total of six NCAA championships, winning two as a player, one as an assistant coach, and three as a head coach. His Bruins men's team set the NCAA record for consecutive victories with 57 from 2014 to 2016. And Coach Wright has been named the ACWPC National Coach of the Year three times. Tasha Schweiker, Gymnastics 2005 to 2008. The Pac-12 Gymnast of the Century, Tasha Schweikert made history when she became UCLA's first two-time NCAA All-Round Champion. The 12-time All-American also captured an NCAA uneven bars title in 2008 to bring her NCAA champion total to three. The 2007 Pac-10 Gymnast of the Year earned four perfect tens in her career as a Bruin, two each in uneven bars and floor exercise. Prior to her career with the Bruins, Schweikert helped lead the U.S. to a bronze medal in the 2000 Olympics and to a gold at the 2003 World Championships. She captured two U.S. national all-around titles and was inducted into the USA Gymnastics Hall of Fame in 2012. Dave Roberts, Baseball, 1991 to 1994. Dave Roberts was the team captain of the 1994 UCLA baseball team and was selected as a two-time All-Pac-10 honoree. Roberts still holds the program record for career stolen bases, a trait which followed him to the professional game. Roberts' memorable stolen base and tying run in the ninth inning of Game 4 of the 2004 ALCS set the wheels in motion for one of the greatest comebacks in postseason history, as the Red Sox became the first team in MLB history to overcome a 3-0 series deficit. Following his playing career, Roberts turned to coaching and was named the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2016. The 2016 National League Manager of the Year has guided the Dodgers to the World Series in three of his last four seasons, culminating in capturing the 2020 World Series crown. Pac-12 Conference and its member universities are excited to be back playing the sports we all love. But in order to get back to competition, the Pac-12 universities and student athletes are taking many steps and following important guidelines. So now it's our turn to do the same. Please follow your state and local health official guidelines as you enjoy Pac-12 competition wherever you are. That includes wearing a mask, maintaining physical distance, avoiding close contact with those not living in your household, and washing your hands often with soap and water. Thanks, Thanks fans, fans, for, for doing, doing your part to cheer responsibly. responsibly. As they have for the last 12 years to get the famous Rose Bowl Stadium ready for another football season, professionals apply Live Earth Humid Soil Conditioner to keep the turf vibrant, lush, and green. Live Earth can do the same for your lawn and yard. Application is easy, and the results are amazing. If you want the best lawn, do what Rose Bowl Stadium professionals do. Make sure Live Earth is part of your game plan. Visit LiveEarth.com to find a retailer near you. All right, fans, it looks like it is time for us to take another look at our ready countdown to kickoff. And it looks like we are at about 35 minutes to go 
prior to kickoff and of course the action getting started here at the historic Rose Bowl Stadium. Now remember you can listen to the game and all of the action on AM 570 and tune in to hear Josh Lewin, Matt Stevens and our good friend Wayne Cook. And here's something really cool that we're doing. It's a great opportunity for fans to get into the radio booth. It's called a new series. It is the Behind the Mic series. You don't want to miss it. You can get all the information that you need by clicking on the banner ad right here on Bruin Game Day Live. Again, that new series is called the Behind the Mic series, and that is something that you do not want to miss. A very unique opportunity for Bruin fans to get in on that game day action. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it is definitely about time for... Yes, another giveaway. We love doing those here on Bruin Game Day Live and I actually had the opportunity to catch up with two diehard Bruins fans and we got together to play a game of categories. Now, we know that we love that one when we play it here at the stadium, but it's just as fun when you're playing it over Zoom. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now, brought to us by our friends over at Valvoline. Our two contestants that we have today are Megan and Michael, and you guys are getting to play a very fun game. We're gonna be playing categories. Now, before I get into the rules and before we let you guys play, we're actually gonna have you guys tell us a little bit about yourself. And I think that you two kind of already know each other. So Michael, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? Um, I met Megan uh, my freshman year. We were both uh, a part of a, a club at UCLA called the uh, UCLA Rally Committee. Um, and uh, she was recruiting for the for the club. She's a legacy member and uh, so pretty much known her since day one of freshman orientation, basically. Yeah, so I graduated in 2011 with Brenner. Um, again, we've known each other for 13 years, almost half our life, it's crazy. And I work in hospitality and tourism. We go to every single football game, every single season. I think I've actually been a season ticket holder for football and basketball since I was in the cradle. So um, like Brenner said, legacy for sure. My whole family went to UCLA and I'm super excited to play today. Perfect. So I'm sure both of you have seen this game played. We're gonna be playing categories. You're each gonna get 30 seconds to name as many items as you can in the category that I give you. And Megan, we're gonna go with you first. So Michael, we will see you in a little bit, all right? All right. Your category today is going to be famous Bruin alumni. Are you ready? I am. Let, all right. We'll do it, let's go. <laughs> Here we go, in three, two, one, name them all. Rayford Johnson, Mohini Bahardwaj, uh, Chris Waller, Jack Black, um, oh gosh, I'm blanking, this is so hard. Uh, Carrie Strug, technically, um, oh god, Trey Aikman, oh, I don't know. Time, time is up. All right, Megan, you did a great job. All right, Michael, how are you? Are you feeling nervous? A little bit. All right, well, no worries. Shake those nerves off because you will have 30 seconds to name off as many famous Bruin alumni as you can. Are you ready? Oh, gosh. Uh, All right, in three, two, one, name them off. Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, John Wooden, um, Josh Rosen, uh, Brett Hundley, uh, Francis Ford Coppola, Tim Robbins, um, uh, oh, wow, uh, uh, Wasserman, <laughs> um, oh, geez, uh, blanking, uh, Rick Neuheisel, uh, uh, Carl Durrell. <laughs> All right, Megan, our judges counted a total of six alumni that you listed. Michael, you listed eight of them. So that makes you our winner <laughs> of today's game. So six and eight, very close game though. I mean, you yeah, both, this is very cool if you get to do compete against each other, but that makes you our winner for today, Michael. Congratulations. <laughs> for you and of course we have an awesome prize waiting for you <laughs> thank you so much
So if you ever want to test your friendship, just go head to head in a game of categories. So don't worry, Bruins fans, we got you. If you ever want to compete against your best friend. Now, unfortunately, it looks like our time together on Bruin Game Day Live is up for today because we've got more, you know, in the later games. But of course, we do want to take the time to thank all of our partners that make this show possible, especially UCLA Health. They are today's sponsor of Bruin Game Day Live. And an even bigger thank you goes out to each and every one of you that tuned in today to watch this show, who participated, who sent in those photos using that hashtag Go Bruins. And of course, if you guys want to listen to the game, you can check in on AM570. You can listen to the guys calling the action there. And don't forget about that new Behind the Mic series. You can get that information by clicking on the banner here on Bruin Game Day Live to get all the information about that. And of course, the game will be on Fox, so you can watch all of the action there. Now, once again, we just want to give you a big thank you for tuning in to Bruin Game Day Live. We hope that you guys had just as much fun with us as we did with you. But before we go, Let's enjoy the solid gold sand of the UCLA marching band together. Take a listen.
the world needs more impossible, more unconventional, unreasonable, unhinged. Keep telling us we're naive, that we should get real. We don't have a shot. For every barrier, we have a breakthrough. For every obstacle, a leap forward. For every cynic, these inspiring grounds have given us an optimism. What is a Bruin? It's more than a word. It's more than a mascot. It's a philosophy, a culture, a nation. A Bruin is a champion through Westwood and Pasadena. A Bruin's roar can be heard loud and strong. The Rose Bowl our home where legends are honored and stars are born champions made here Yeah, out of the way, yeah, yeah, out of the way, yeah, yeah. 